My name is Father John Kurgan. I'm the pastor of Our Lady of Sorrows Church in Vestal, New York. And I'm pleased to be with, here, with you this morning to celebrate the Eucharist. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, we come to pray to our Heavenly Father and to place our needs before him. Let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, all your work is done in faithfulness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, all the earth is full of your love. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are our help and shield. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We, we praise, praise you, you, we bless you, you we, we adore you, you we, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, God heavenly King, King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten God, Son, Lord God, Lamb, Lamb of God, God Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty and sincerity of heart through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord to his anointed Cyrus, whose right hand I grasp, subduing nations before him and making kings run in his service, opening doors before him and leaving the gates unbarred. For the sake of Jacob, my servant of Israel, my chosen one, I have called you by your name, giving you a title, though you knew me not. I am the Lord and there is no other. There is no God besides me. It is I who arm you, though you know me not, so that toward the rising and the setting of the sun, people may know that there is none besides me. I am the Lord, there is no other. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Ship. 
at the Lord and tremble, proclaim the one who reigns. Say to the nations, the Lord is King, who rules with justice. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy to the Church of the Thessalonians, and God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace to you and peace. We give thanks to God always for all of you, remembering you in our prayers, unceasingly calling to mind your work of faith and labor of love, and endurance and hope of our Lord Jesus Christ, before our God and Father, knowing brothers and sisters loved by God, how you were chosen. For our gospel did not come to you in the world alone, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit with much conviction. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The Pharisees went off and plotted how they might entrap Jesus in speech. They sent their disciples to him with the Herodians, saying, Teacher, we know that you are a truthful man, and that you teach the way of God in accordance with the truth, and you are not concerned with anyone's opinion for you do not regard a person's status. Tell us then, what is your opinion? Is it lawful to pay the census tax to Caesar or not? Knowing their malice, Jesus said, Why are you testing me, you hypocrites? Show me the coin that pays the census tax. Then they handed him the Roman coin. He said to them, Whose image is this, and whose inscription? They replied, Caesar's. At that he said to them, Then repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The story about the question that's asked of Jesus, you know, who do you pay tribute to? You know, in Jesus' answer, holding the coin, and asking them whose inscription is on it, whose face is on it, Caesar's. You know, pay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, give to God what is God's. Really is talking about the question of who belongs and who doesn't. Who has membership, perhaps in the popular trappings of society, and who doesn't? Who has chosen, perhaps, to turn away from that and to turn toward what Christ talks about all throughout the Gospels, indeed what he teaches. If we're really going to be good Christians, good Catholics, we need to be countercultural. You know, we can't be paying attention to society and being paying attention to Christ and being totally immersed in each one without doing injustice to what Christ has asked of us. And yet we can't remove ourselves from society. We need to be tied to them if we're going to have any effect on society and on the difficulties that plague people this day. Perhaps that's where the difficulty is, being in the world but not really being part of it, knowing that we belong to Christ through our baptism as priest, prophet, and king, that we have a responsibility to those around us, and yet we can't get caught up in the difficulties and in the trappings of society. It's a balancing act that 
we all spend our lives perhaps trying to negotiate. That perhaps even is, in part, where sin comes from. How often, how easy it is to fall victim to what happens in our own society around us. And yet our job, our joy, in carrying out the mission of Christ is to be able to bring Christ to those who perhaps have never been exposed to the love that Christ has to offer, or perhaps themselves who have fallen away from that love. We have the ability not only to be active members in society, but also to be prayerfully active, especially in our later years. We have the ability to, through our prayer, influence those around us, to bring them closer to the work that Christ has for all of us. This day, as we continue our prayer, let us pray for all people according to their needs, but also in a special way, pray for those who are closest to us, especially those perhaps who have walked or fallen away from the church, that God would always buoy them up. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray for the needs of our world, with our hearts set on the endless kingdom that is to come. For those members of the church who are called to prophetic witness against inhuman crimes and injustices, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the leaders of nations who are entrusted with what belongs to Caesar, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For people who are still subject to the ty tyranny of atheistic political system, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For a sense of social responsibility as citizens, voters, and taxpayers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who watch this televised mass, that they may know God's care for them today and always, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have passed through death towards God's eternal kingdom, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord of all history, we place our request in your care, knowing that all people's times and events are within your provident plan. Grant our prayers, the prayers of your people, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Grant us, O Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so love the world, that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer, to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours, that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time that he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Of the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world, lest are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I not am worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give us in this present age, and prepare us for the gifts that are eternal, through Christ our Lord. Amen. My friends, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The celebration of our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Have a good week, everyone. You too, Father. Sparing, sent him to die. I scarce can take.